it's kind of working. It looks like it's hurting him, but he keeps regenerating. Therefore, he cannot die. <laughs> All right, you know what? Switch off. There is literally no point. Hang on a minute. I just realized that is literally the exit. So now he can literally just walk out of the facility. Welcome back to People Playground. So as you can see, I'm in a new facility here and we are going to do some more experiments. Now there's also this part of the facility as well, which we have SCP-096 in. So again, more experiments to be done with this guy right here. Okay, buddy, time to go in the pit. The death pit. In you go. That's it. Give him a little punch. Yeah. Get in. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh, what's happened? Oh no! He was supposed to go in the new death pit and I ripped his head off. Okay, send in another class D personnel, please. There we go, we got someone else now. But before we put him in the death pit, make sure to leave a like on this video as it really helps out the channel. Okay, here we go. He's walking up the ramp right now. Just ignore the other dead guy. Why can't he walk? What is he doing? Dude! All right, let's give him a little helping and maybe he get over there. Come on, just a little helping hand. There we go. All right, screw it. Here we go. The doors should activate automatically. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, jeez, that is insane. So not only does he get destroyed by the cannons, the spikes, but he also gets eaten by these worm things, which are really loud, by the way. So you know what? I'm going to pack them up. Ah, <sighs> that's more like it. The worms have now been removed. So let's move on to another experiment. Now, this guy has actually had the possessive mask on his face. Um, that's why he looks like this. The mask isn't currently on him, but we're going to inject him with this syringe right here. The syringe that I can't remember the name of. So here we go and inject oh did it work i don't think that actually injected him so let me just keep trying this uh this kind of looks <laughs> a little strange okay why can't we inject him all right so i've made this part a little longer let's see if it works no oh oh no it's ripping his limbs off all right we're gonna have to do this manually okay let's just remove this there we go okay now it has been injected into him wait what's happening um, dude, you okay? I mean, he wasn't okay to begin with, to be fair, so... <laughs> well, he is definitely dead. Right, what else do we have here? Okay, we have... I think this is a level 3 key card. We probably don't need that right now. Hmm, what does this yellow one do? Let's give it a go, shall we? Did it do anything? No, that did nothing. What about this one? Oh, oh, here we go. Something's happening now. Oh, no. Oh, jeez, he's just bones. It's just like eroded all of his skins, his, his muscle. Everything's gone. Anyway, let's move on to SCP-173. So he's in this chamber right now. There's no way of him getting out. And all we're going to do is electrocute him and see if it does anything. See if he has any reaction. So let's activate the machine and see what happens here. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he's made out of concrete. So I guess why would the electricity go to him, right? It doesn't make any sense. So maybe we might need to add something into this chamber so that he gets electrocuted. Okay, let's switch it off. What about this barrel? Will this work? We put that there and then just turn it on. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's getting electrocuted and he's falling over. Okay, we need to close this door. So I think the electricity is trying to hit the barrel but because SCP-173 is in the way, it's actually electrocuting him as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's doing stuff. He is getting electrocuted, but again, he's made out of concrete. Doesn't seem to have any effect on him. All right, well, this experiment was a complete waste of time. Turn it off. Check it out. This facility also has SCP-049 in it. The thing is, he's in glass, right? Who put him in this? It's so easy for him to get out. This is the worst cell ever. Oh, now he's opening the doors. Uh, security, you might want to look behind you, buddy. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, he, okay. He's touched him now. Dude, uh, are you going to do anything about the SCP right behind you right now? Are you just going to stand there? Oh, no. I think, uh, I think SCP-049 has turned him into a zombie. Yeah. Okay, now he's knocked out. Oh, wait. I think he's going to try and release this guy. Oh, no. So I believe this guy is called Mouthly. He's technically not an SCP, I guess. But his entire face is literally a mouth. So I'm pretty sure he just eats humans' heads. And that's it. He just bites their heads off. 
Uh, so are you guys friends or something? I guess you guys are, right? Also, 049, you do realize you have a shard of glass in your butt. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that for you. There you go, buddy. Well, I guess these guys are friends. Okay, I guess they're trying to escape the facility. Oh, oh, jeez. Malfoy just punched him. What a savage. Oh, now he's going down the stairs. Okay, yep, he is definitely trying to get out of this facility right now. Oh, he's opening the doors. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is bad. Dude, what are you doing? Blood 7 Free is right behind you. Well, at least the door is shut now. The only downside is SCP-173 has got Malfoy, which is kind of a shame because I wanted to see him in action. I kind of wanted to see him, you know, take on a human and eat him in one go, I guess. But uh, now we'll never know. Also, where's... Oh, here he is, a plague doctor. Okay, he's still up there just chilling. Now he's after the doctor down here. Doctor, run! Get out of there! Oh, he's touched him. Great. Now he's going to turn into a zombie as well. Yep, look at that. You can see by the color of his skin and his clothes. Okay, well, he's now a zombie. Hmm, but you know what? Since the plague doctor is in here, how about we do some more experiments? Let me drain some blood. Okay, oh, whoa, it just goes full straight away. Uh, should we pull some out? I'm very confused. What about this flask? Can we just straight away put it into a system? Or actually, let's put it into this one and pull it. So we'll make it go into the blood tank and then from the blood tank into the plague doctor. Although I don't think it's actually possible. Yeah, because the plague doctor, I don't know, like he's just made out of something where you just can't inject him. I guess it just doesn't work. But what about a syringe? Actually, maybe we can inject him with a syringe. Oh, okay. Well, that works. So you can inject him with syringes. You just can't use the blood swap tanks. Otherwise, it's kind of broken. Maybe there is a way. I'm not too sure. But whatever this one is doing, it doesn't seem to have an effect on him. So maybe we'll try the other ones. Inject. Oh, that one did something by the looks of it. Oh, look at that. Oh, but he keeps regenerating. Okay, whatever I've injected him with, he does not like it at all. And this one. Die, Plague Doctor. Die. I know the scientists like you and everything. Well, sometimes. But you do need to die. Hmm... How do we kill the Plague Doctor? I wonder if we could electrocute him. So this never worked on 173, but maybe it will on 049. So let's give it a go, shall we? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's kind of working. It looks like it's hurting him, but he keeps regenerating. Therefore, he cannot die. All right, you know what? Switch off. There is literally no point. Hang on a minute. Just realized that is literally the exit. So now he can literally just walk out of the facility. But don't worry, because we have a watchtower here with some guards. So all I have to do is open fire. Take him out. That's it. Engage. He's still alive. Oh, no. This is bad. This is very bad. He is punching the watchtower. But luckily, it's not doing anything right now. He's just not strong enough. Keep firing. Engage. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, he's fallen. Oh, Oh, no. That's bad. Hmm. Maybe the plague doctor can pick up his gun. Okay, well, this is just getting ridiculous now. But you know what? Open fire. I think it's working. It's doing something. Oh, oh no. It's going down. Oh, <laughs> is the guard okay? Nope. He is definitely not okay. Wait, he's still alive. Okay, open fire. Take out the plague doctor. Yes. Come on. With your last breath, take him down. Oh, it didn't work. He's dead and the plague doctor lives on look at the states of this place now after doing all that research so many things have gone wrong but it always does so blissfully unaware in the other part of the lab we can now move on to uh the other experiments so scp 096 Let's see what it's like to electrocute him, just like 173. So of course, it didn't work before. So if we just... Is it this button? Oh, okay. This is interesting. I'm not actually trying this yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he's on fire. Okay, switch it off. Switch it off. Uh-oh. Why? Hang on a minute. Why can he just get through this? This is a terrible spot for him. Oh, great. Now everything's on fire. Do we have a fire extinguisher anywhere? Okay, don't worry. I got one. I got one. Put the fire out. There we go. Um... Did you look at SCP-096? Uh-oh. He's getting angry. Oh, no. Dude, you might want to run. He's coming for you. Oh, no. This facility is so bad. Oh, jeez. He's killing him. Well, I think it's fair to say this scientist is well and truly now dead from the attack of SCP-096. Oh, man. I like how this guard is just sitting there doing nothing. 
Sound the alarm. Dude, the alarm has been raised. I think it's time for you to get out of here. Open the door. Uh-oh. Game over for you, buddy. Run! Or, or walk. That works as well. Look at him. He is out of here. <laughs> He's not messing around. I like how he is a, a guard at the facility, and he is just out of here. To be fair, I'd be doing the same thing. I don't know why. Oh. He's right behind you. Get out of there, dude. Run. Oh, no. He's so much faster than you. You're a dead man now. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, body slammed. He's got your leg. <laughs> He's walking you off with his leg. All right. Well, uh, you have a nice life, SCP-096. I'm just going to leave you be. Might as well turn off the alarm. I mean, you know, he's gone now. So that's that, I guess. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> I don't know why he has that guy's leg, but yeah, he's off to start a new life. Probably kill some people, you know, as he does. Moving on, we have here a skyscraper and on top we have a guy with a parachute. So we're going to see if he can actually survive jumping off it using this thing right here. It looks very strange, I know, but uh, hopefully it should work. Okay, here we go. And drop. Oh, he smashed a bit of glass, but that's fine. Oh, hang on a minute. I should probably... <laughs> Yeah, I should probably move the parachute a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Yes, it works. So, so this guy right here should land nice and safely from jumping off a skyscraper. So that's very, very nice. All right, taking a little while. It's so a very slow parachute, but you know, that's when you know it's safe, right? And just like that, he has landed. Oh, but the whole building's coming down. Oh my goodness, how does that even happen? Oh no, what a disaster. Everything is on fire and my computer's probably gonna blow up. So we need to probably get rid of this ASAP. So things really took a turn for the worst there. But moving on, we have here a realistic F-35 modern fighter jet. So this is actually a new version. I've downloaded the previous one as well in a previous video. But now we're going to check this one out. So I need to figure out how to actually fly this thing. I think if we press W, we should go up. Yeah, look at that. That flies quite nicely, actually. Okay, so I guess it's, it's fairly straightforward. WSD. And then if we press... Uh... Oh, no, we crashed. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, I'm going to have to try this again. Oh, no, look at the blood. Okay, just ignore that. Uh, we're just going to fly. So I think if we press H, it should engage the thruster back here. Oh, there's a bit of smoke from the uh, the crash. All right, here we go. Oh, we're going to go so fast. I should probably slow it down. I'm worried it's going to lag my game. I wonder how fast we're actually going right now. If I zoom out, can we see? I have a very strong feeling that we're going to crash again. This isn't good. Prepare for impact. Uh Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> and we've blown up once again. Man, I really need to learn how to fly this thing better. So we can also fire the missile. Whoa, look at that. That's awesome. And I'm pretty sure that will also track any other vehicles it spots, uh, which is pretty cool. We also have a machine gun. How cool is that? So that is a 50 cal machine gun on the front. I'm just going to go ahead and deactivate that. And lastly, I mean, there are a couple of other bits, but we could go ahead and eject. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, the question is, though... <gasps> oh, look at that. It does work. I was going to say, does it have a parachute? But it's using the same thing as uh, the parachute we just used. And we're slowly just floating down. Uh-oh. There's the jet. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. We've landed on top of the jet. That is not supposed to happen. Okay, what happens if I press H now? Whee! We're flying out of here. <laughs> we are no longer in the cockpit. We are just on top of the jet chilling. That must be absolutely terrifying. Activate the air brake. I don't think that did anything either. Oh, oh, he's been flung to the back. Slam him into the wall. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that is officially about four or five jets I've destroyed now. Well, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there.